before diving into the implementation details, let's go ahead and check out what you will be building in multiple sections of this course. I'm going to go ahead and launch the Good Weather application. When the app launches, you can actually click on this plus button to add a city whose weather you are interested in. I'm going to go ahead and add Houston and save. As soon as I save the weather, you can see that the default setting of my weather is Fahrenheit, so it displays the information in Fahrenheit for Houston. Now keep in mind that all of this information is being fetched from an API, and this is the actual weather, not some hard-coded dummy values. Let me go ahead and enter some other city, and you can see in Denver it's actually pretty cold. All of this information is taken from the Open Weather Map API, which you are also going to learn that how you can register, get a key from Open Weather Map API, and also query their API to get the latest weather information and display it on the screen. There is another option, which is for settings, and it allows you to convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit. If I go ahead and select Celsius, and press the done button, you can see that all of these weather information is now converted into Celsius unit. If I go back and select Fahrenheit, you can see that all of this information is back converted into Fahrenheit. So now you know the basic structure of the application, let's go ahead and see that how we are going to divide the application into multiple view models and what will be the purpose of each view model.